Hello everyone, Yoho Joe here, and in this video I'll be showing you how to set up and install Simba and SRL so you can auto on RuneScape. What I'll be doing is following the official install guide found at this URL uh, at the SRL forms. You can see the URL right here and follow this step-by-step -step guide. Or if you wish, you can uh, watch the video and just follow me. Um, this guide shows you how to install Simba on all three uh, major operating systems. Uh, up here you have instructions for Windows, down here for Linux, and there's also other guides on how to install them on Mac. Um, for this guide, obviously, we'll just be showing how to install on Windows, because that's one of the more popular, uh, most used operating systems. Uh, first thing you want to do, as stated in the guide, is download Simba from the Simba homepage, which is found here. So what you want to do is go to www.wizup.org slash Simba. You never want to install Simba from anywhere else besides this website, which is the home of Simba. And right here at the top, you can see a download link. So you want to click that and save it. Once it installs, you want to double click the EXE and run through the installer. Simba installs straight to the C drive. It doesn't go into any program file folders. Uh, if you want to move it somewhere else, that's fine, but it sh uh, you should really just leave it alone where it is. Uh, this next setting asks what you'd like to name it in your start menu. And this last one asks if you'd like a desktop icon. After that, it installs and launches. First thing many people want to do is uh, get rid of this extra little CMD console box. It takes up another whole tab down here, which a lot of people find annoying, and it's just kind of in the way. Most of the information is mostly useful for actual scripters or people who are actually working on developing Simba. I myself, as a scripter, hardly ever use this box myself, so to get rid of it, you want to click this button right here on Simba that says Hide Show Console. And by clicking that, it will be gone and never come up again. If you ever do wish to see it for any reason, you simply just click the button again and it will be right back. Next thing not all of you might see, but many of you will, is this update button right here. This means that a new update is available for Simba. If you ever see this after installing Simba, you want to click that right away and this new window will come up. You want to click the update button and what this will do is download the newest version of Simba for you. Once that is done, you will see right here it says, Please restart all currently running Simba binaries. That simply means exit out of Simba and start it up again. Now as you can see, the little console box did not pop up on this run, and that update button is now gone, meaning your Simba is up to date. If you ever wish to check the version of Simba you have, you simply click the Help menu and About. It says right here, revision 984. So if you ever wish to know, the information is right there for you. Back to the install guide. I'll be loosely following the guide um, because I do it in a little bit of a different order, but all the instructions are right here and, and I'll be doing the same things. What you want to do is click View, Extensions, and, 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 and enable some of these extensions. First one will be the Associations. What this does is let your computer know that .simba files are meant to open with the Simba program. So when you download scripts, they will automatically open with Simba. Next is extensions, and these are just little tools and plugins that Simba and scripts need to run properly. This one is not necessary, but many people like it. It's called MSI. MSI is just a very large script with many mini scripts built in for mining, woodcutting, fishing, all kinds of skills in various locations. A lot of people like to use this script as their first script or their first intro to Simba, but there's many other scripts available on the SRL forums. And uh, last but not least is SRL, and that is what all scripts use to run. SRL is a big library of functions and procedures used by all scripts to auto and RuneScape. Now, one last thing you want to do again is click View and Extensions menu. 
Now you will see, after your help menu, you'll have these four new menus, uh, each with their own different options and things like that. What you want to do now, since it's your first time running this, is update each of them. And you can update them all at the same time. So you just click one, check for update, check for update, and do the same for each of them. And as you can see down here, the debug will let you know your current version, the remote version, and it'll, it will update and install all these things to their proper location. Um, if you ever want to change or update settings, you may. Everything's pretty much done automatically in the background, except for this first run where you purposely check for updates. But you can see here, uh, check or uncheck if you want to update, or simply just check for updates. Um, and over in the settings, you can either override the update if you want, or you can change how often it searches for updates. But uh, everything left alone, how it comes out of the box, will update in a timely manner and automatically, so these settings can be left alone. And this is something that just must be done the first time you run Simba. From now on, things will update automatically in the background, and I'll let you know down here in the debug box. Uh, everything is now finished. As you can see here though, I had one error that some plugin did not uh, install properly. If you happen to see that, which you might on your first install, all you want to do is click SRL. Uh, in the settings, you want to check the override update box, and then click SRL and update. All this does is update SRL, even though your version and the update version are the same, because you had an error with the plugins. So as you can see, it was successful. After updating all those things, you want to restart Simba one more time. And now what we will do is you'll want to open this thread right here. You can see the URL. And scroll down a bit and you will see a little sample script. All the sample script does is uh, runs SRL to see if it's working properly and starts up smart. And what smart is, is um, the client in which RuneScape runs and Simba interacts with. Um, and it's also minimizable, so when you're running a script, you can minimize it and continue using your computer while Simba autos for you. So from this thread, you'll simply want to copy and paste the script into Simba and press the play button. And after you press play, it should say SRL compiled, and you should see this line. And basically, as I said before, all the script does is make sure SRL is installed properly and starts up smart, which is the RuneScape client. Sometimes on your very first run, especially if you've never ran smart, I mean, especially if you've never ran RuneScape on the computer before, it may take a few minutes to get smart running. But uh, after doing this once, Smart should pop up instantly after pressing play. You should see this line that SRL has compiled, and this line that Smart is loading. Sometimes on your very first run, it might take a few minutes or so for Smart to come up, especially if you've never ran RuneScape on the computer before, but usually it comes up pretty quickly, just like this. And it will start loading RuneScape for you. And I will end this video right here. And just a few notes, though, uh, for those of you who are having any problems at all. First of all, if you had no problems and have everything installed properly, it's very important that um, you look down here and go to this link. Uh, once again, this is available on the official install thread. You click this link, and it shows you how to set your graphics properly for autoing. If your graphics are not set like this, no scripts at all will work for you. So it's very important you look at this thread. Basically, you want safe mode, minimum settings, fixed screen, highest brightness, and everything else should be on off or very low. On this image right here, it says software mode, but now on smart, it's actually safe mode. So once again, you want 
Everything on this screen should be fixed, all music off and minimum. And once you go to the advanced settings, you want it on safe mode, highest brightness, and everything else must be turned off. Now, if in anywhere at all throughout this video you had any problems, or if you downloaded and ran a script and are having any problems at all, before posting, you want to read the Frequently Asked Questions Guide. I assure you that any error or problem you'll get will be answered right here, mostly in this section with problems while a script is running or problems getting a script to start. Any error you have, just control F, type in the error, and read any of these threads and they will cover exactly how to fix your error. And if for any reason you've done that and you're still having trouble, then you can go ahead and make a thread in the help section. So, happy autoing, and I hope you enjoy your time using Simba and SRL. Thanks for watching the video. Bye!